Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 9th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had an interesting move in the market where we moved down really sharply as Moody's comes out downgrading banks and warning of some banking sector issues, and that only temporarily brought the bears to work. Um, an interesting market situation that we have. We can add a banking crisis to the list of things that the market just doesn't want to hear about and wants to ignore in favor of all of the earning speculation. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do really, really appreciate it. Um, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Um, I am running a little bit behind, so I'm probably going to try and make this video just a little bit shorter to give you a heads up. Um, taking a look here, as you can see, we uh, placed a nice little hammer pattern in here after testing um, and breaking down through that black candle over here, we made a new low, but then just quickly started buying up again in the market as if there's nothing in the, at all to be concerned about as long as we can continue to stay fueled up on all of the earnings hype. Now, taking a look here in the chart, you can see I still would suggest that we'll be watching this resistance level right up here in the chart. Watch that carefully if the bulls continue to find inspiration to push on higher um, and if we can push through that resistance well once again I'm going to suggest we push right back up here and retest the recent highs in the chart now if the bears were to some reason find inspiration today well you can see about the only place we have to go for a support level is back down here to test this level in the chart which would be kind of a painful pullback i will point out also that we have that potential of that little downtrend with this right here creating that possible lower high in the market not that anybody cares about that right now as long as earnings continue to come out um, on lowered expectations we um, continue to find a way to push these stocks to um, perfection or above and running those PE ratios up very, very high in the overall market. Now, taking a look in here, we came really, really close to um, to breaking, uh, completely breaking down yesterday, but we stepped right back up in here. So right now there's no concern overall um, here in the market, even with that pending CPI data coming Friday. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY also. Good move down yesterday, more of a spinning top in here yesterday on that move. Uh, trying to push back up, but then right at the end of the day, we saw a little bit more selling. You'll notice we pushed down here and tested my trend line in the chart and we are still above our 50-day moving average. I still think there's a really good possibility that we either consolidate or we continue to push down here um, relatively soon to test that 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average does tend to draw prices to it um, once we get close like we are here. But right now, fueled up on that energy in earnings, I'm going to place this resistance level right back up here again that if we can find that bullish inspiration to continue to follow through today we might be up here testing that resistance if we can break through that area then we might test the top side of that resistance and then of course beyond that we're looking at a full-on uh, new price highs in the market if the bears were to continue to find inspiration i'm going to suggest a test of yesterday's low would be um, a probability and then if that were to um, to fail then i would look for a test of this level right in here you can see that nice little area in here and then of course the 50-day moving average will also be important um, draw potentially if we start moving down below 
my trend line. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also rallied back sharply yesterday, but didn't leave a overall high confident um, uh, pattern in the chart on on that um, on that um, sector. Looking in here, as you can see we have a little bit of a, a downtrend starting to show here there's our our uh, lower high in the qqq good hold of price support in any rally back i would look for a retest of some of the resistance first off we may have to retest this area here to see if we can pop on through there and if that were to break then we'll probably move up in here and start testing these areas and then of course that little downtrend here in the chart could also uh, be a little bit of a hinge point as to whether the bulls or bears will take over here in the market now looking at our moving averages we came very close to the 50-day moving average, but um, suddenly we just don't seem to care that there is a banking situation out here where these banks are running massive debts. Um, just don't seem to have much concern about that in favor of earnings reports. So watch that closely here. If we do see a little bit of bearish action uh, coming into the market, then I'm going to, going to suggest we retest that lower low and then I think even come on down testing that 50-day moving average and the next levels of support in the chart. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now, IWM sold pretty hard yesterday, finally breaking down here just a little bit. It's been stubbornly holding on. You'll see what we've done is we uh, broke down below this trend break uh, in the chart and now we're trying to uh, push back up off of this support level that I marked yesterday as the, the place where we could find support. And remarkably, that's exactly what we did. We pushed right back up. And as you can see, our, our level up here now is going to be a retest of the underneath side of that little resistance. And then of course, right back up there to retest that downtrend break and further resistance in the chart. So watch that close. Now, if those bears were to find inspiration today, I would suggest a retest of this low here is what we might see. And then of course, pushing on lower, maybe to come back down here to test this support level right here in the chart and that 50 day moving average if the bears find some inspiration. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX yesterday uh, spiked up here um, as we well realize that the banking situation is not um, all that great, that China's economy continues to weaken. Um, but that only served as a temporary hiccup um, for the buyers wanting to continue to buy up stocks. So watching this in here, you'll notice we're holding on this price support. And again, I want to suggest that the real selling doesn't begin until we make that proof that we're going to hold this higher low and we see those sellers coming into place. If the bulls can continue to push, then there's no reason to believe right now that we can't push right back down there. They just don't seem to be worried about too much of anything, just buy, buy, buy at the moment. So watch that closely. I think there is a chance we could see more upside here in the market. Um, and even as we wait on that CPI data, um, let's take a look at our T2108. Whoops, I meant T2122. T2122, let's take a look. T2122, we were down here toward that bearish reversal zone yesterday, down in this area on the, the low part of the day. But buying that right back up here, we're still below our 50% area in the chart. So we have relieved a lot of the sell pressure. And I think that, or, or the overbought pressure, and I think that does um, help out the bulls here quite a lot in relieving some of that kind of real frothiness in the market. But it also may be giving us a little bit of a false impression as to what's going on here. Um, if those bulls were to find uh, inspiration today, you can see we have opened up a pretty sizable upside opportunity if they can find that inspiration. Bears also have um, a, 
a pretty sizable uh, downside opportunity to move us down into the oversold area of the market if they were to find inspiration. And let's keep in mind that T2122 does not tell us which way the market's going to go. It just does tell, it just tells us where those pressure points might be in the market. And right now we're kind of sitting here in the middle um, just really trying to cover our eyes and ears, uh, not wanting to see anything bad and favoring just, um, you know, those lowered estimates pops that we're getting out of earnings. If we take a look at our T2108, you can see T2108, despite the rally back yesterday, continued to show a little bit of pressure. So we, re we have relieved a lot of that um, overbought uh, condition here in the market. We've broken the, that upside trend and um, we still have support below. So I don't think there's any reason here to be in major panic. If we can see those buyers step back up, we'll look for some resistance levels up here to, to see if we uh, create a lower high. But for now, um, looking pretty good here, 53% of the stocks above the 40 day moving average. T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average, despite that bounce back, also showed we continued to weaken here um, in that sector, but not so much as to be a major concern. You can see there was a little bit of support right there that we may have broken down through um, yesterday, but you know, 53, 54% of the stocks above their 200-day moving average is not a terrible situation here in the market, and we've got support below if the bears were to continue. Once again, I think the concern may come in is if we were to rally back um, up and then and put in a lower high up here someplace that's where maybe a little bit more concern might come into the market if we take a look at our t2101 this is something that it does concern me is that our market breadth even with the wild volatility that we saw yesterday in the market we had no real measurable increase in market breadth our breadth it continues to be very, very low. Volumes yesterday were relatively low as we saw that whipsawing around in the market. Now, I don't know what that means, but I will kind of favor the side of caution here just because of the big data points that we have coming on inflation later this week that we still have that potential that we could get big point moves either to the upside or the downside based on that that would bring in that potentially bringing in that breadth so be careful over trading in the market uh, make sure that you're keeping that um, heavy speculation to a minimum and make sure you keep those stop losses in place and even raise those up to take some of those profits if um, something suddenly changes here sentiment wise in the market. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, well, our economic calendar, we've got a few things here to be paying attention to, but honestly, it's a very light day today. Mortgage applications have already come in bearish. Um, in fact, um, 21, I think it's 21 year high right now on mortgages. Um, our consumers are slowing down. We're seeing that. We're seeing defaults in credit cards and things rise. We saw yesterday where uh, the announcement where credit card debt has now exceeded $1 trillion for consumers um, th across all commercial banks, which is a new record. And um, consumer household debt has risen um, above $17 trillion for the first time ever. And we are seeing those default defaults beginning to rise. Now that's only going to become a real problem here if we continue to see pressure in those uh, bonds pushing um, those yields um, um, higher. So watch that carefully here in the market. Now if we take a look at um, um, the rest of the day we've got a petroleum status report that certainly could be interesting as we've been seeing um, oil sector prices stay stubbornly high, um, also pushing those gas prices up, which is again, kind of a pressure on that inflation. And then we have some bond auctions here in the afternoon, and that's only important because that 10-year bond has record levels of short 
uh, pushing on that 10-year bond right now, suggesting that um, the bond yield could continue to move higher, adding additional pressure to those mortgages. So watch that. Record numbers are shorting the 10-year bond. Um, that could be important if something shifts here in the market and we happen to catch some kind of a short squeeze that could potentially come into there if things aren't uh, quite as uh, the investors are expecting. Remember, we've got CPI tomorrow. That's going to be a big driver and likely create um, considerable volatility in the pre-market, which means we could see a substantial gap up or gap down, depending on how that number comes out tomorrow. And then, of course, jobless claims also have been a bit of a problem problematic thing for us as that jobs num those jobs numbers remain hot um, with uh, the Fed wanting to see that starting to weaken so watch those things closely then let's take a look at our earnings calendar but today guys I'm not even going to cover any of those earnings on the calendar just to save a little bit of time what I need you to do is click the link just below the title of the video um, on YouTube and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch this blog and a full list of all the notables today you might be able to take a real quick screenshot right there to get those notables for today um, instead let's take a look at some stuff stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that if you can do me that quick favor once again if you can click that subscribe button on YouTube if this is the first time you've been here also click those thumbs up buttons if you feel like this video is worthy or helpful to your trading day I really really appreciate that um, and thank you for leaving those brief comments and like I said yesterday even an emoji uh, makes the difference showing that um, engagement with the video that helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks and the channel grows so thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that and supporting the effort of putting these videos out um, every day let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence and be very very careful here in the market first off let's take a look at the US dollar again US dollar popped up strongly um, yesterday but pulled back a little bit we'll want to keep an eye on this as the dollar strengthens it's, uh, it's running into some interesting issues on the commodity side of things so watch that carefully here we've been seeing things like US steel moving back down as as that dollar strengthens and we may be running into some pattern failures here in the chart you can see we've broken some support so rally back would want we would want to watch for that potential short in some of those commodity sectors of the market now interestingly enough we actually had a bid coming in a little bit on gold yesterday and I think that was just the fear of what could happen in the financials with that downgrade but then we just quickly decided to forget about that and continue moving on buying stocks so watch this carefully in here you can see GLD has been moving down here in this chart we might catch a little bit of price support right in here but if that dollar continues to strengthen that could be a problem here for um, those precious metals let's take a look at some of the other things out there moving around quite a bit um, take a look at visa now remember yesterday we had those numbers um, uh, credit card debt reaching um, a new record highs so let's watch this in here um, we're certainly going to need the consumer to continue to spend like crazy if we're going to support these prices so uh, Visa in here um, rallying back up after breaking some support. If we can rally back up and prove to hold those higher lows in there, then I would look for the next um, leg for the upside in that chart. Um, if we happen to fail in this area, then we start looking for um, a downtrend uh, break. Remember, that could be the lower high showing up in the chart, and we come back here to trend. So keep a close eye on that. I still think this chart in GE is a beautiful chart and continues to stay really, really strong and setting up for more upside move here. Nice little resting consolidation 
beautiful upside trend very controlled price action it looks clean it looks easy to trade keep a close eye on that really like that chart looking good dkng now dkng had a little bit of volatility in it it caught an upgrade yesterday um, suggesting plenty of upside opportunity but interestingly enough left a kind of a shooting star pattern and we're gapping a bit lower here today so watch that volatility but if we can hold this price support in the chart then there may be that opportunity that we can push on up um, in that position and there's reason why that might find some inspiration today because we've got some earnings um, in like pin national um, reporting today we're going to hear from a win casinos as well so that may provide some support to that gambling sector of the of the market and uh, may help push some of those stocks higher so keep a close eye on that take a look at some of these retail stocks Kohl's looking very very good beautiful upside trend pulled back yesterday in that gap down with the rest of the market found a little bit of price support and came right back any follow through on there may be some upside opportunity in that chart and then i was really really surprised yesterday with the data that came out of china to see that um, we're ignoring that in the oil sector look what happened here in apa yesterday pulled back, gapped down, found that support, complete reversal on the day, pushed back up, big old bullish engulfing candle, pushing through. So strong hold of support here, um, oil, oil and gas stocks still trying to move higher. And I saw really good reversals yesterday on some of the uh, refiners in here, Halliburton, gapping lower but coming right back and you can see trying to push on through some resistance here in the chart Valero Energy um, another refiner just absolutely saying no we don't care about China slowing down we want to buy oil stocks and uh, pushing on higher here so Valero so keep an eye on that energy sector this is also interesting that that being a commodity this is also ignoring that rising dollar which is very surprising to me but showing the strength of those bulls just wanting to buy 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 here in the market so there may be more upside pot potential in these stocks so watch that close so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here i do truly appreciate it remember cpi tomorrow expect a gap either up or down tomorrow um, so be careful with over speculation you could get quickly punished if something if the market happens to stumble in one direction or the other so um, have a great day we'll see you right back here bright and early thursday morning and i wish you all the best